Hi friends, today we shall talk about something that every developer must know, SQL query optimization. Why is it so important? Optimizing your queries make your application faster, improves database performances and even saves server costs. In this video, I shall walk you through 8 essential tips to optimize SQL queries. We will understand each tip with the help of a real world example. So let's get started. Use indexes effectively. Indexes are special lookup tables used by a database search engine. It's a, it's, a, it's a sort of like how a reader would use the index in the back of a book. They can help speed up SQL query as data that fits special criteria can be located quickly. Without indexes, your database scans every single row to find the data. This is called a full table scan. Let's look at an example. Look at this example. Without an index on the email column, the database has to scan every row which can be slow with large data sets. Imagine name in the book without a table of contents, right? Without an index. So it will take you a lot of time to find a specific page, right? So to make our query better, we create an uh, index on frequently searched columns. By creating an index in the database, quickly finds all the rows, right? Making your query blazing fast. Avoid select static queries. It is tempting to grab all columns in your query, but it is rarely necessary and adds unnecessary overhead. So you should always avoid using static. So instead use specific columns in your select query. So instead of using your query like this, you should always use specific columns in select statement. This query fetches every column from orders table, even ones you don't need. Here we are fetching only the columns we need. This reduces the amount of data transferred and speeds up the query. Okay, the next is reduce the use of wildcard characters. Wildcard characters like percentage in the like operator can hurt performance especially when they are at the start of a string. For example, this query prevents the database from using indexes because of the wildcard at the start, resulting in a full table scan. If you really need to use a wildcard, try to use it at the end of the string. Because now putting this percentage sign at the end of the string, uh, we are able to use indexes and now indexes can now be utilized for faster lookups. Okay, the next one is use appropriate data types and layouts. Using the right data types for your column is crucial. Mismatch data type force the database to perform unnecessary conversions. For example, here we are forcing database to convert the string into an integer, which slow down the query. Because our ID in the database is int, but we are passing its value as a string by ensuring uh, the data type matches, we eliminate convergence overhead. Avoid redundant or unnecessary data retrieval. Uh, for example, if we look at this query, we are getting complete data of the table. This query fetches every row, even you only need the top 10. So the better approach is to fetch the number of records we need. Now we are only fetching first 10 rows, saving time and resources. Okay, the next one is use exist instead of count queries. This query counts all matches rows, even if you just want to know if any exist. For example, look at this query. The count query scans all matches rows in the order table, even if only one matches is needed. For larger data sets, this can lead to a significant performance overhead, especially if there are many matching rows. Here we are simply printing a message after verifying if customer ID exists in order table or not. So the better approach is using exist. This query stops as soon as a matching row is found. Select one is used because the actual selected value is irrelevant. Exist just needs to know if a row exists. Okay, the next tip is avoid subqueries. So let's see an example. Subqueries can be slow because they are executed for every row in the outer query. So the better approach is to use giants instead of subquery. A giant fetches the data in one go, significantly improving performance. Finally, monitor your queries using tools like 
uh, query profiler are uh, explained in MySQL. These tools show you what's slowing down your query and give you some statistics about the query. For example, this way we can use SQL profiler in SQL database. I open the profiler, I connect it, I select tuning, run it. Now whenever I run the query, it will be monitored by SQL profiler. For example, I exe execute it. You see SQL profiler has logged this query. And it's also providing us the duration execution time of the query. So it gives us some statistics about the query execution plan, indexing, database name. This shows whether your query is using indexes, scanning tables, or hitting performance bottleneck. Remember, small changes can have massive impact on performance. If you find this video helpful, give us a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe for more developer tips, right? Thanks for watching.